Well, hello. I've not talked to you guys in so, so, so long. How are you? Let me just say, things are about to change. We're going to stay in contact with each other. We have to. Um, there's been some great things that are happening since the last time we talked. Um, I released my book. I'm trying to get it so you can see it. You spared my life. It might be a little backwards. It's Rosalind Friend. That's at the back of it. And my friend Stephanie Phillips Tompkins, she wrote for me on the back of the book. It says, From my songbird to my author, your songs uplift me. Your written words about your past are inspiring. You didn't allow your circumstances to define you. Your smile, your kindness, and most of all, your love for people is truly who you are. Your book will give hope to so many that with him all things are possible. He didn't make a mistake when he chose you to go through the journey. He knew you would give him all the glory and would not hesitate to give a testimony. He is not done with you, my friend. He is not done with you yet, my friend. Your work isn't over. Thank you, my sister in Christ, for over four decades of cherished sisterhood. Stephanie Philip Tompkins. I love you, Steph. Again, that's the back of the book. This is the front. Um, this book has been an amazing, amazing journey for me. Um, it was a song first. I wrote a song 2000, well, I wrote it like 2004 and um, recorded it in 2005. You spared my life. And, you know, on, if you go back and listen to some of the other videos, you'll see where um, I was singing it at the beginning of it or playing it. You spared my life. You spared my life. You spared my life. And I want to say thank you. Oh, you spared my life. God, you didn't have to do it, but you did, yeah. You spare my life. That's the way the song goes. Not that fast, but that's the way the song goes. That was in 2004. And here we are in 2019, and I wrote the book, You Spare My Life. And I am getting great, 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 great reviews about my book. It's been an amazing journey for me to be able to write it. Um, but I want to tell you about the beginning of the book. It says, the book says, I can't believe I'm writing a book, me, the person that was passed from grade to grade without knowing how to read, or should I say read well. That's how I start the book off. And um, you, when you read the book, you're reading the book from, I'm sorry, that's my daughter's jump back there. You're reading the book as you're listening to me talk. So when you're reading it, and the diff several people have said that they, when they read the book, they're listening. It's like listening to me. It's so easy to to understand. Um, we left with some mistakes in the book because, like I said, I had to, I had to teach me how to read. And you, if you get the book, you got to get the book, and you'll understand that sing how singing helped me to get to the point of how why I needed to read and learn how to read. Um, I want to say thank you to everybody. They keep asking me about my YouTube channel. Why are you not been on there? I've been so, so, so swamped. But to God be the glory, I'm back and I'm getting ready to hit this hard. I'm, I am on my grind. Let me just say this. People don't get beloved, but that woman is on her grind. She pushes me. When I was going through a difficult time in my life and so sad, she didn't know. I tried to talk to her about it. I try to, every time I get on here, I think be loved because I had basically mentally shut down with the uh, situation that happened. I had a nervous breakdown two years ago and the enemy tried to kill me and try to destroy my mind again. And I was going through a rough time, saddest, sad part of my life. And I, did, I don't even know how I got on her channel and her, her family, I mean, the love, and then watching her pray. I'm quite sure there's other people that was praying over their stuff, their food and stuff, but this woman was praying over her food, and I just looked at it, and I said, God, look at this family. So, to be loved, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for just being who you are and be authentic and just being 
down to earth and allowing God to use you because you don't know how blessed you are. If you don't, let me tell you, you are a blessing to so many people. People going to be like, Ross, why are you shouting this out to this woman? Because there was times I was in my room depressed, sad and crying, and she would come on. And just the way she would talk and then Darius would come in and I would laugh so hard at Darius. And then like when they would sing and then Zeddy Chunk Chunk would come in and try to, they were doing like a singing challenge, I think. And Zeddy, he looked so serious, but knowing he can't sing. But I just love their family. I love, love, love their family. So I just wanted to say to you all, God will give you a ram in a bush. This ain't no joke. You know, you heard that before about getting a ram in a bush. I'm sorry, my phone's acting like it's trying to die. So I'm trying to hurry up and plug it up before it does. Anyway. Thank you to be love, because for real, I mean, at that time, I was really just like, oh, man, I was just like, Lord, help me, just really struggling, but God did, God did, and brought laughter back to me, and brought just the seriousness, and watching this woman build her business, and how God was in it, and God is helping her, and then went on to her sauce, and then went on to her son, he'd start doing his channel, and then Darius start doing his channel, and just how much love they like to give people, and how they, no matter what they've been through, they still put God first, I appreciate that, I appreciate that, uh, I've watched her be on her grind, and she pushes me, she don't even know me, I don't know her, but the way she's on her grind, I am, I'm telling you, I've been working so hard. I did my book release September 21st. And the reason why I did it though on the 21st is because it was my sister's birthday and my sister Vanessa, it was her birthday. And, um, my sister passed away 13 years ago and I dedicated the book to her. Her birthday was September 20th and this was, we did it on the 21st, the day after, um, God is just working things out. People were buying the book, and then I did a radio, um, we did a radio interview, and we got other stuff lined up, and just pushing and pushing and pushing, and I am so thankful that I am just really on my grind, for real, for real, for real, for real, this ain't no play, no game. She's like, you gotta get out there, you gotta get on your grind. That's what this is about, getting on your grind. Uh, I gotta get back here on, on, um, YouTube because I've just been pushing on Facebook and I've been pushing on these streets and getting my stuff out there and getting my name out there back out there again because my name was out there for singing but there's more to me beyond me just singing there's more to me there's I have something I have a story to tell and can't nobody tell my story like I can tell my story you just because you find out from the book that I've been molested doesn't mean that you can tell me how I feel you can't you will never understand that but not only have I written the book it is now getting ready to be a play so thankful to god that this play is going to be amazing it won't be in indianapolis where i'm at it will be in Terre Haute, indiana where i was born where i was raised where and we're going to have it at the high school that i went to uh Terre Haute south Woo, brave go ahead um Yes, it's so it went like I said from the song to the book now it's going into the play and I've been on my grind for real for real um, You can get the book and how you get my book is you go to R-A-Z-J-A-1234 at gmail.com That's Rajay R-A-Z-J-A-1234 and that's how dot com Mm, at gmail.com sorry that's how you can get the book um you can inbox me on facebook it's under rosalind friend and my ministry page is rajay sings i believe it is you can look on there once you put in rosalind friend i'll pop up um i'm not gonna tell you what my hair gonna look like because my hair gonna be different all the time um i'm trying to make sure i get all this in the book is 19.95 shipping and handling is 3.75 we did the priority mail. We did these. And my first 30. My first 30 we did. No problem at all. Then I went back to mail the other. I think I had like 40 something to mail again. They told me I couldn't. And that the lady did it wrong. And that I should have done. Um, they're going to be $25 per package. No. Sorry. 
So I have to buy the envelopes now, and I have to send it off. So it's three seventy five dollars uh, for shipping and handling, and nineteen ninety five for the book. Um, so you can please, please, please email me again. That email is razja1234 at gmail.com. Um, yep, that's what's going on. Um, if you would like to be in the play, please contact me, inbox me. And we can figure out, do something about you trying to be in a play. It doesn't matter. You can just, if you have some talent and you want to be in a play, get at me and we'll figure it out what we can do. Uh, one last thing. I'm going to ask you to pray for me tomorrow at between 2 and 2.30. I will be having a heart procedure done. Um, some of you all know that I have tachycardia. Tachycardia is where the heart beats faster and... Um, there's been several times that I've been hospitalized over this, and we've done everything we know it's from stress, from worrying, from uh, just all, it, and you never know when it's going to happen, and they give you this medicine, and it makes your heart rate slow down to almost a stop beat, and then it jumps back again. It's dr traumatic. It's too much. So I had to go see the heart specialist, and they told me they wanted me to go have this ablation. Ablation, I think is what it's called, done. Um, I don't want to do it. We're going to go and do it, get it on out the way, and then finish doing what God has for us to do. Amen? Amen. So, again, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share this video. And let everybody know that I am back on here and I'm doing this. I'm back. I'm trying to get on back on my grind. Because I've been on my grind with everything else. But just not my YouTube page. And I've just got to do. I've got to do something different. I've got to figure out what I can do to keep me. Because I feel like that I'm just pulled all over the place anyway. And so what I'm trying to do is to make sure that I get on this page and hit it. And I'm trying to. I'm trying to. So. Um, I'm going to try to send this because now it's going to take forever to upload. So uh, don't forget, I appreciate you. Please buy the book. Please uh, let B-Love know that I said, hey, what's up? I'm not asking her to come see me. She's too busy. For real, for real. That lady's grind is on point. She pushes me. She pushes me to want to just do more, do more, do more, do more. We have... Um, not only do we have cups, we have, um, um, I'm sorry, we have, not only do we have books, we have a cup. It's a coffee mug, and it says, You Spare My Life on it. We have um, t-shirts um, that say, You Spare My Life, and they are purple, and then the other ones are gray. Um, you can get all of this, uh, all of this stuff from us, from me, right here. You can get either get on, go on Facebook and, and inbox me and order it. Send me the right size, and send me... Whatever you need. Your coffee mug. It's a white cup. And it has you spare my life that goes around the cup. It kind of follows around the cup. Uh, really, really nice. Um, all the proceeds are going to help to get this play together. And I'm trying to think of anything else. Hmm. Not that I can think. Oh, yes. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. May 1st. Another book is coming out. And it's called A Woman's Legacy. And it's me plus a collaboration of other women. And um, we each one is going to write a chapter about a legacy that we want to leave. And it's about uplifting women, encouraging women. We don't have to sit around and talk about each other. Your gift is your gift. And what God has for you is for you. And what God has for me is for me. But to be able to encourage somebody to keep moving and don't, don't give up and just keep going, praying for one another, that's what this book is about. I have another book coming out this time next year, and it's called, just wait for it, I'll let you know about that more. But um, if you would like to be involved in the collaboration book of A Woman's Legacy, please get back with me, inbox me, and let me know. Let me know if you would like to, and I will let you know what all you need to do. Amen, 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 amen. So thank you so much. Um, you guys have a great day. And thanks for taking the time out to listen to me. And remember, take some time out and thank God for sparing your life. Think about just one thing that he's done. And how God spared your life. And just I think about, there's so many, so many things that God has spared me from. And I'm grateful. I'm grateful. So 
the theme for next year is You Spared My Life. And I want to say thank you. That's the title of the book, You Spared My Life. Subtitle, and I want to say thank you. Um, I say to you all, please uh, be kind. You don't have to be hateful. You don't have to be mean. It doesn't take a rocket science to say, hey, I don't have to be mean. I don't have to do that. I don't have to act like that towards people. I don't have to treat people mean. And you reap what you sow. That ain't no joke. I'm sorry, you see these all these chips and stuff my daughter has back here for her kids? It's for my grandchildren. Or Ted's, or Money, or Ariane. Um, God bless you. God bless you. Just be nice. It, it's not that hard. It's not that hard to... Oh, it's just not hard to just be nice. Be quiet. You ain't got to always open your mouth and say, put your mouth on people, be disrespectful. I just can't. That gets on my nerves. Yeah, I didn't say that. It gets on my nerves. It takes time out of your day to be disrespectful to somebody, be rude and mean to them. Don't be like that. It ain't even worth it. It's not. Okay, I will talk to you guys later. All right, have a great day, and thank you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this video. Share this video. Let everybody know what's going on with Rajay. My name is Roslyn Friend, but they call me Rajay. I have been Rajay since I went to beauty school, and there was a young man named Hadari, and there was people coming in getting their hair done, and he said, dang, this isn't, and he named the school that I went to. He said, this is called Rajay's because people were coming in asking for me, and I st that name stuck with me, Rajay, R-A-Z-J-A, and I, and I kept it, and so then when I started singing a lot, well, I was already singing a lot. I don't want to say when I started singing. but Because I was singing a lot then. But I just started using the name. And then it went into Rajay's Ministries and stuff like that. But Rajay, R-A-Z-J-A, one, two, three, four. At Gmail. Send me a message. Or hit me up here. Hit me up here. Don't forget, like, subscribe, share it with somebody. God bless you. Have a great day.